Here. Or Snow White. <laughs> she was just as sweet as could be. She sang us pretty songs and made us smile. At bedtime, she told wonderful stories. About falling in love with the prince she met. And when we went to work, she gave us all a kiss. She was so full of kindness. Why, she made better folk of all of us. From what you've said, she must have been very loved. But how did this happen to her? A wicked queen was horribly jealous of our dear Snow White's beauty. So she used her evil magic to change into an old hag. Then she gave Snow White a poisoned apple. And by the time we got here, well, it was just too late. We found the princess as still as can be. Nothing we could do but wake her. Isn't there some way we can help her? Well, not unless somebody craves the vessel. I'll brave the castle. No, you fools can stay here doing nothing. But I'm not afeard of going, not even to that witch's lair. You'll never make it. The castle's supposed to be guarded by magic and crawling with monsters. Hmm. All right, then I'll go. You will? I will. Leave it to me. Well, all right, my dear. We'd be much obliged. Is something wrong? This castle. It's different somehow. And I can't find the princess or hear her beautiful voice. Was it all a dream? Wait. You mean you know Snow White? Oh, yes. We met once. It was a song that drew us together. Has something happened to the princess? Yes. I'm afraid so. The Wicked Queen tricked her into eating a poisoned apple. I must go to her. Where is she? In the woods, guarded by seven kind dwarfs. I will find her. Perhaps there's a way I can help. <sighs> Something's not right. Oh, <laughs> 
Princess! you wake up you're awake Ventus oh it's a miracle Terra master Ericus Ventus is awake is a new journey. Maybe Vent left because it was his time. Still no sign of Terra. from her what oh I'm sorry it's just I've never seen anyone so beautiful who are you I'm Ventus but you can call me Ven oh you don't seem bad dear I'm certain you have a pure heart just like our precious Aurora can you tell me why she's sleeping long ago Maleficent cursed her now she's stolen her heart. Hmm. Well then, why don't I go get it back for her? That's impossible, dear. Maleficent's home is at the Forbidden Mountain. It's not safe. I'm not afraid. We, we can't just leave Aurora like this. I can help. You gotta believe me. Come on. Let's go get her heart. You know, you're absolutely right. The Forbidden Mountain is through the forest. Come along, follow us. After all, we wouldn't want you to get lost. Looks like we're stuck. This must be Maleficent's doing. I know. Shall we? Yep.
careful. They are Maleficent's. Well, they ain't guarding nothing. Tension! No sleeping on the job. That should do it. Don't you remember? We've met before. We... we have? Why, of course, you said so yourself. Once upon a dream. I never thought I would meet you. Outside of my dreams, that is. Who are you? What's your name? Hmm? Oh, my name? Why, it's... Oh, oh no, I can't. Goodbye. I must see you. I don't know. Maybe someday. When? Tomorrow? Oh, no. This evening. At the cottage in the Glen. What was that? Aurora's memory. She must have gotten her heart back. So her dream came true? Yes, not long ago. Dreams are very strong beliefs. Aurora's led her to her true love. I see you hold strong beliefs too, don't you, dear? Yep. You also have a strong light. Hmm. All right, hurry. We can't stay here. What's that? I think I had better go take a look inside. Someone has released Aurora's heart. Tell me, child, was it you? Maleficent! Only because you stole it in the first place! Her A keyblade? You must be Ventus. Huh? How do you know about me and the keyblade? My powers ensure I'd know of the key to bringing me hearts. Terra gave me a demonstration. Huh? Terra? He was here? Why, yes. In fact, it was he who stole Princess Aurora's heart. That's a lie! I was asked to leave you unharmed, but it seems I have no choice! There's no way Terra would hurt somebody like that! You don't believe me? That's unfortunate, for he agreed so easily. He did? Ven, don't be fooled! Huh? Aqua! Terra would never do that. You know that as well as I do. Yeah. Ah, the truth can be most cruel, even amongst the closest of friends. After all, one never knows the secrets of another's heart. I'm sure you'll agree, Ventus. Aqua. <sighs> the Master sent me. Huh? Then, let's go home. But Terra... Terra's not ready to leave yet. Like right now? He's leaving you behind. And by the time you catch up, he'll be a different person. 
Sorry, Aqua, but I can't go with you. What? It's just... I have to find him before it's too late. Then! I see you too wield a Keyblade. How do you know about the Keyblade? A source of power. A key that opens the hearts of men, of entire worlds, and allows one to obtain anything and everything. Such a power I find most fascinating. So, Terra... He really? Yes. Now, my dear, would you like to assist me as well? Never! I see. Xehanort was right. You are a most stubborn girl. Master Xehanort, how do you... It seems you need time to consider my offer. Fortunately, I have the perfect place. What? Ah! <sighs> Tara, where are you? My name is Aqua. It looks like I was caught in a trap. Why are you here? To prevent me from breaking her evil curse, I was to meet the most beautiful girl at a cottage in the Glen. But now my true love lies in an eternal slumber, and only I can break the spell. You must really love her. Is what you said true? Yes, Maleficent told me. Oh, Prince Philip, it's you! Now, Philip, the road to true love may be barred by many more dangers, which you alone will have to face. I'm going with you. There's something I need to know, and Maleficent has the answer. Yes, of course, dear. Now come along. We must hurry to Aurora. shall be your tomb, wound round the castle in a bower of doom! <laughs> Maleficent, what did Master Xehanort tell you? Such a pity, child, that you don't have Terra's gift for obedience. Nor can you see how easy it was for him. Terra would never do anything to help you! Quite the contrary. He fully embraced the darkness within himself. Stop lying! See for yourself all the powers of hell! <sighs> Fly swift and sure that evil die and good endure. Uh, uh, 
It's the power of true love that defeated you. I will not be defeated by something as insignificant as love. You don't even know the first thing about it. You're too clouded by darkness to see that there's something greater. Try all you want, but you'll never defeat a heart filled with light. Perhaps. But remember one thing. As long as there is light, there will be darkness. And in time, many more will be drawn to it. And they will all belong to me! <laughs> Tara, you better stay strong for me. Where's he hiding? Oh. <gasps> All right. What did you mean about Terra being a different person? Exactly what I said, idiot. The Terra you know will be gone forever. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Stupid or true? Uh -huh. A Keyblade? Good. Let's see what you're made of. That really all you got? Man, you are worthless. I'd be going against the Master's orders, but so what? As far as I'm concerned, your job here is done. are not something you use just to bully somebody around. Here, I'll show ya. We both will. Huh? Hmm. Yeah. <gasps> huh. You win. Consider yourself on probation. <sighs> probation? For what? Thanks for before. I owe you. The name's Ventus. What's yours? I'm Mickey! I see you've got a keyblade. Yup! I've been training under the great young Sid. He found out the world's are in trouble, and I sort of took off without telling him. Well, that makes both of us. I ran off too. All I have to do is think it, and the Star Shard will take me anywhere I want to go. At least I thought it would. I haven't quite got the fine points down like... when or where. It just kind of kicks in whenever it wants to. But I wouldn't have met you if it hadn't brought me here. <laughs> you know, it might not be an accident. Maybe it starts working because it's reacting to something. <laughs>